is Adam Eaton, who joins us on our Nats Extra pregame show. Adam, thanks so much for taking some time with us, man. We just showed some numbers there offensively for you. You've been kind of up and down over the course of the season, but pretty solid numbers all around. But the last two weeks, you've been squaring up baseballs, barreling them up more consistently. What do you think has led to that? Um... The mindset, for one, um, it, if I if I told you, well, you know, we're two plus years out from my knee injury and I'm still dealing with it, you know, I, it, it's part of it. Um, I'm trying to rewire everything, um, you know, from defensively to offensively to on the base pass. Um, it's really been a uh, struggle for me to be consistent with my legs, um, you know. And then with legs, you know, it, you know, you guys have played the game, you've been around the game, you know. If you don't have your leg, you don't have anything. So. Um, um, like I said, just trying to rehotwire things, trying to be consistent, and uh, you know, trying to you know get into the flow of things. And I know again, it's taken two plus years, but it's I feel like I'm finally getting into the flow of the, the game, and, and uh, that you know that comes with hitting and defense. And it's going to continue to try to evolve. Um, it's been a struggle, but uh, like I said, we'll get there. Adam, we talked a lot about the deepness of this offense. When you look at the depth up and down the offense, but if I could replace anybody in this offense or pick a spot in this offense, it would be to hit behind Trey Turner and in front of Anthony Rendon and Juan Soto. Let's just talk about your mindset, basically hitting second, knowing that you have arguably one of the best base stealers in baseball hitting in front of you and then having basically two of the best young hitters in baseball and Rendon and, and Soto coming behind you. Yeah, that's a, that's a great place to be honestly um uh if you you told me maybe eight to ten years ago that i'd be hitting you know in front and behind uh these two great athletes uh, that i have um you know as teammates i, I tell you you're crazy um you know trey's a, a, an excellent talent that i have so gifted to you know protect so to speak i told him the other night the only reason he to cycle is because i'm protecting him and then <laughs> uh you know tony protecting you know such a great power hitter like myself um you know it's a joke of course but uh you know two great teammates that i'm so blessed to be around and uh it's it's a great a great day at the ballpark whenever you can have those guys around you uh, makes my job very easy you know getting on base you know tony has the hard part of you know driving us in and then you know trey gets on in front of me you know my options are endless i can bunt you can hit and hit into the hole you know He's stealing, getting on second base. Uh, like I said, so blessed to be where I am uh, in this situation and, and uh, you know, happy to be around those guys. Adam, let's talk now about your event that you've got coming up on Saturday, the Rev Up the Park. This, it's kind of crazy to think that this is now the third annual for this event. For fans who might not be familiar with it or for those who have been in past years and you want to reset the information for them, what can you tell everybody watching about how fun this event is and what it brings to the table? No, I appreciate you asking, and uh, you know, thank you for asking for having me on to uh, spread the word about my event on Saturday. Um, it's from 7 to 10. I know it's early in the morning. It's Cars and Coffee. Uh, it's called Rev Up the Park. Um, such a terrific event to help uh, the Dragonfly Foundation in the Midwest. There's uh, two locations, one Cincinnati, one Chicago. Of course, me being a Midwestern guy, um, it, you know, it's uh, near and dear to me. Helps kids with cancer, um, really in any way, shape, or form, just as a support base. Um, I was blessed to be able to um, come in contact with the individual that started hit their child and uh, I've stayed in contact with them over the years. And um, it's, it's just really cool what the Dragonfly Foundation does um, to help those children children in a need in any way, shape, or form, like I said. Um, it's from 7 to 10 on Saturday. Cars and coffee is basically what it is. It's bring your cool car, whatever it may be. I don't care if it's a Prius. Come. And, uh, you know, like I said, we have coffee donated. We have uh, donuts donated. Uh, we're at the Geico Garage in left field. It's a heck of an event. It really brings two of my great passions, really my three passions together. That's cars, that's baseball, and, uh, again, helping children um, in the Midwest. So, Come on, it's 25 bucks at the door. I mean, you pay that more in coffee in a week. Uh, those are that would be that's the funds that are donated. Everything else is, you know, of course donated. So you get it when you come. Um, bring your two loves, like I said, um, baseball and cars, and uh, like I said, all while helping children with cancer. So come on out Saturday morning. It's a great event, and you have teammates that show up every year. So there's lots of nationals, players, and coaches that'll be there for everybody to talk to. Revupthepark.com. Head on out on Saturday morning and join Adam Eaton and his teammates. Adam, thanks so much for the time, man. Keep it rolling today and. Uh, we hope for good things for you going forward. Thanks, guys.